All right, so uh, we've introduced what we're going to be talking about here, but I thought we should also probably talk about what is conversion rate and why does it matter? So conversion rate's fairly simple. Uh, what it is is the number of orders that you have, okay, um, divided by the amount of visits. So for example, and I'll show you Trunk Studio right now, here's our last seven days. Um, we've had 200 or 2,200 visits, 2,205. We've had 346 orders for a conversion rate of 15.7%. So why does that matter? And why should we pay attention to that? So in a nutshell, essentially, the better your conversion rate is, the more often that you convert, right? So the more often that somebody comes to your page, they only come there that one time and they buy. Now, conversion rate has a lot to do with, um, at the end of the day, price um, and awareness, right? So the more expensive your item is, the longer it takes someone to do the research and the, the um, to figure out the information they need to make the emotional decision to buy. So if I was selling a $5,000 sofa, the conversion rate on that is going to be much, much lower than, for example, us selling mock-ups at $4.50 a piece, right? Or me selling a t-shirt at $24 to $27. Um, somebody has to do a lot more research to decide that they're going to spend $5,000. It makes sense, right? Like you don't just rush out and drop five G's, um, without actually looking and doing some information and doing some searching. So what ends up happening is people come to your page a lot more often. They come to your website a lot more often. They look at your product pages a lot more often and on a more expensive item. That means that you have to spend a lot more time building out what your unique selling propositions are, making sure that people have as much information as possible to make sure that they're making the right decision to drop a lot of money with you. You wanna make sure your trust badges are there. You wanna make sure you have reviews. You wanna make sure you have everything you can to basically knock down all of the objections to help this person make that and complete that purchase. Now, that's not to say we shouldn't do that with smaller priced items, right? And this is the, the beauty of Etsy is Etsy helps us with a lot of these things. They make reviews very prominent. They ask for reviews whenever a customer comes back to the website, but we can do things to help that out too. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick short explanation of what conversion rate is. And here's the really important thing. Um, Etsy ads, you don't have a whole lot of control over them. You can basically set your budget. You can turn on or off whatever items that you would like to sell. And this is where conversion rate really matters because if, for example, you are going to sell something and your conversion rate like us is around 15%, right? That means you can actually afford to have a lot more clicks on your items because you know that you're going to convert more often. And that actually drops down your advertising price per conversion because you're converting more often. That means you're getting sales more often, which means that even though you're paying Etsy, because you're converting more often, you're not paying them as much money to get a uh, conversion based on ads. So for example, if I had a 5% conversion rate, right, that would mean on average, I would need 20 clicks from somebody to buy my product, okay? Um, five times 20 is 100, so that would give us 100%, right? So if it's 20 clicks and we're paying 25 cents per click, right? Um, top of my head, that works out to about $4 and some change, right? Uh, for don't quote me on the math, um, I'm better with the calculator, but like roughly $4 per sale, right? Whereas if my conversion rate was at 15%, okay, I'm converting three times better than I am at the 5% level, that also means I'm paying three times less. So really focusing on conversion rate and, and doing everything we can to improve that, A, results in more sales for you, but B, when you're using advertising of any type, it actually reduces your advertising costs and allows you to be more aggressive with advertising. It allows you to spend more on advertising to bring in more sales. So hope that helped clear up some things about conversion rate, what exactly it is and how Etsy uh, calculates it. Again, all it is is the number of orders divided by the number of visits, okay? So how often when somebody visits your shop, do they actually buy something? Now that matters to Etsy also in the sense that the more often that somebody goes to your shop and buys, Etsy keeps track of that. And it makes sense, right? They wanna promote the stores that make them the most money. So if people come to your store and they buy more on average than your competition, your store is going to perform better overall. So see why we think this is so important, why we should really focus on this, because it, it really, it's the thing that can affect so many things. You know, it's, it's the 80-20 principle, right? Like the 20% of things that we focus on that can give us 80% of our results. So hope that cleared it up for you guys. Um, our, go ahead and click down below on the next video. The next video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of 
keywords, the importance in your titles and tags of getting the right keywords in there and also making sure that we're really effectively using long tails.